Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Now, we talked about this story earlier, but I'm not quite finished with it. A high school teacher right here in California, who is also a city councilman, by the way, caught on video slamming U.S. military service members as the lowest of our low and dumb bleeps. Please watch. Because we got a bunch of dumb <laughs> Think about the people who you know are over there. Your freaking stupid Uncle Louie or whatever. They're dumb <laughs> They're not like high-level thinkers. They're not academic people. They're not intellectual people. They're the freaking lowest of our low. If you join the military, it's because you have no other option. Because you didn't take care of business academically. Because your parents didn't love you enough to push you. And then you didn't love yourself enough to push yourself. Don't you ever freaking bring the freaking military into this country. I don't understand why we let the freaking military guys come over here and recruit you at school. We don't let pimps come into school. All right, anyone interested in being a hoe? Okay, first of all, I am not a military veteran. I have never served in the U.S. military, and I don't want to pretend to speak on behalf of our military, but I do have a voice. I have an incredible platform. And perhaps most importantly here, I have family who serve in the United States military. And you, councilman, just called my family dumb bleeps. Oh yeah, you had your turn talking and now it's my turn. Let's start with some history. For a history professor, you sure don't know much about history, do you? You don't know from history that the reason you live such a cushy lifestyle is because of the men and women who serve in our military. You don't know that the reason that you're free to spew such garbage is because of people like my family who would give their lives to protect jackasses like you. But you should know that because you're a history teacher. You should know that our military service members aren't as dumb as a so-called educator who picks on a kid half his age in a classroom because the kid was wearing a Marine Corps sweatshirt. Good for him. No, that shaming was from you. You know what that's called? That's called being a bully. Less than 1% of people in our great nation are brave enough to sign on that dotted line, to sign a blank check up to and including their life to protect you from bullies. Radical Islamists who dream of beheading you and crashing jetliners into our Twin Towers in New York City. Dictators who force tens of millions of people into burning gas chambers if your skin color was different, or if your religion didn't suit them, or if you were born disabled. Socialists willing to starve to death 25 million people rather than relinquish their grip on power. Communists who lurk in the shadows, waiting to snatch our very freedoms away from us, amassing power until they rule supreme and we are nothing. You're a history teacher. You know how easily all of that could happen again if we don't safeguard our freedom. 1.1 million men and women have paid the ultimate price, given their lives, limbs, and liberty so you can keep yours and do with it what you will, even if you choose only to sit on your pretentious throne and hurl hatred without ever having served a day in your life. Listen, I'm not going to stoop to your level and call you dumb. I'm not going to call you ignorant. I'm not going to verbally punch you in the face like you did to my family and all U.S. military members. Your comments were all of those things, but you already know that. But let me ask you this. Are there U.S. military veterans who live in your district, the district that you're supposed to represent? Have you no respect for the men and women who voted for you, whose service and sacrifice are the reason any of us can vote at all? You're a history teacher, sir, but here's a little history lesson for you about the extraordinary innovators in our United States military who invented the GPS, the EpiPen, duct tape, the Jeep, computers, and the microwave oven, all things I bet you use on a daily basis. Not to mention the fact that our United States military beat socialism, communism, and Nazism all in one fell swoop, liberated the American colonies from the oppression of British tyranny, and toppled the terrorists who slaughtered 3,000 of our countrymen. I mean, my goodness, what a bunch of dumb bleeps. Am I right? But that's right, you're a history teacher. You know all of that, don't you? And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow back at our regular time at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.